Welcome back to Aesthetics Magazine. Discover more skincare resources at aestheticsmagazine.com. In this episode, we are going to talk about sun exposure hyperpigmentation. Sunspots appear on the body as a result of unprotected and repeated sunlight exposure. It is essential to take adequate preventive measures to control or limit further damage to the skin from the sun. Today, it is much easier to treat and remove sunspots because of the latest available medical technology. The skin is the largest and the most visible organ of the body and it acts as a barrier of the body that protects from the environment. The skin also helps to regulate our body temperature through the production of sweat. We are constantly exposed to the sun's UV rays. It damages the DNA in the skin cells, including the melanocytes. Melanocytes are the cells that produce pigment, which gives the skin its color. Over time, exposure to UV rays from the sun causes some areas of the skin to overproduce the pigment. This leads to the formation of a sunspot. Sunspots are medically known as actinic keratosis or solar lentigenes. They are dark, scaly, or crusty patches of skin on the areas that are exposed to the sun. There are three primary types of skin cancer and sunspots are classified as type keratosis, which is the actinic sun damage of the top layer of the skin. This condition is precancerous. Understanding what hyperpigmentation is can help one to comprehend why it might manifest in the skin after exposure to UV radiation from the sun. Hyperpigmentation is a common and usually harmless condition in which patches of skin become darker in color than the normal surrounding skin. This darkening occurs because there is an excess of melanin, the brown pigment that produces normal skin color. Various factors can lead to the excess production of melanin and therefore to hyperpigmentation. For example, skin injuries or inflammation, such as those caused by acne, can result in an increased production of melanin. Some medications or hormones may also cause the skin to produce more of this pigment. However, the main causative factor of hyperpigmentation is exposure to UV radiation, which further stimulates the production of melanin. The skin produces melanin in an attempt to protect the deeper layers of the skin from the harmful effects of UV radiation. It is this mechanism that results in the darker areas of skin that characterize hyperpigmentation. UV radiation is also the reason why hyperpigmentation most commonly occurs in areas of the body that are exposed to the sun, such as the face, neck, and hands. This is the body's natural way of protecting the deeper layers of the skin from damage. It's why people tan after spending time in the sun the body increases melanin production and sends it to the surface of the skin to act as a kind of barrier. However, if the melanin is distributed unevenly perhaps due to a particularly intense sunbathing session or just from lots of regular exposure then it can end up accumulating in certain areas. This leads to the appearance of the darker patches commonly called sunspots. Another way in which the sun can cause hyperpigmentation is by weakening the deep layers of the skin. The ultraviolet rays from the sun are incredibly powerful and can end up damaging the dermis, which is the thick layer of living tissue that sits below the epidermis, the thin outermost layer of the skin. This not only affects the structure of the skin, but can also damage the skin's ability to regenerate once it's been harmed. Over time, this leads to the visible signs of damage. It is also suggested that solar flares, intense, excess energy releases, could be partly responsible for the development of hyperpigmentation. In recent years, the beauty industry has brought out a greater range of products and treatments that can be used for hyperpigmentation. However, the efficacy of these products and treatments is still a subject of debate. Non-medical treatments offered by beauty salons, such as chemical peels and microdermabrasion, can help to remove the top layer of skin and encourage new skin to grow. This is thought to help disperse and break down melanin. Light therapy works by releasing different types of light, depending on the type of hyperpigmentation. For example, pulsed light is often used to disperse melanin for normal aged spots and freckles. Sunbeds, which give out ultraviolet, UV light, should not be used in light therapy for hyperpigmentation. This is because exposure to UV light over a long period of time can increase the risk of skin cancer. Because of the concern related to the side effects of some medical treatments and the lack of clear evidence of the efficacy of most of the non-medical products and treatments, it is very important for anyone who is seeking treatment for hyperpigmentation to consult a dermatologist first. 
A dermatologist is a medically qualified specialist who can advise on and treat skin problems. By prescribing, a dermatologist can monitor the use of agents with potential side effects. Also, a dermatologist will know the various medical treatments and can advise on their use and any side effects. The causes of pigmentation are largely avoidable if the necessary precautions are observed to protect the skin. The sun is responsible for any discoloration and pigmentation with its ultraviolet rays. Therefore, once someone notices some discoloration, it is advisable to visit a dermatologist soonest. With an experienced professional, the available numerous effective treatments can be adopted to restore the skin back to its normal appearance. Professional treatments are specially formulated to achieve better and quicker results. It is important that one takes a proactive approach to prevent and protect the skin from pigmentation by applying a generous amount of sunscreen with high SPF every time before going out to the sun. Also make a habit to cover up with wide-brimmed hats or UV protective clothing and accessories. These safe practices not only prevent further damage to the skin from pigmentation, they also minimize the risk of developing skin cancer. Hyperpigmentation is one of the most common skin conditions and many people with this condition are actively looking for treatment. Pigmentation can cause considerable skin disfigurement and its severity can have an impact on social interaction, interpersonal relationship, as well as occupation. In reality, some people have prejudices towards those with facial skin problems. However, not every pigmentation can be cured. This depends largely on the cause of pigmentation. Some pigmentation is deep and only the superficial layers of the skin such as the epidermis can be treated. On the other side, certain kinds of pigmentation can be unsightly, causing distress and has a major impact on quality of life. So, everyone is advised to seek medical advice and professional treatments from qualified skin care professionals to effectively treat and manage skin pigmentation. Discover the natural power of vitamins with this new book Understanding Vitamins in Skincare by Greg Reshaw. Learn how vitamins can nourish, protect, and renew your skin, all while embracing a healthy, balanced approach. Get your copy today and uncover the secrets to natural ingredients. Understanding Vitamins in Skincare is available now on Amazon.com.